Mark Rogers TV breaking down the schedules in college football 68 all the way up to number one. That's all the power fives plus the four major independents. This is the easiest and non-conference schedule in college football. No, it does not belong to Baylor this year. The Bears have scheduled a game at Duke. You almost can understand this, even though I don't agree with it. This is Kansas. It's Kansas. So I'm not going to rail on Kansas like I have Baylor the past few years, but still, Kansas, if you want to stay in the Power Five, you need to start scheduling Power Five opponents. Southeast Missouri State, Central Michigan, at Ohio. Two max schools in Southeast Missouri State out of the gate for Kansas. Uh, out of those three, Central Michigan, according to the ESPN Power Index, is considered to be the best football program, football team at number 89 in the country. The reason Kansas has the seventh most difficult schedule in the Big 12, so it's the fourth easiest, is because they don't get to play themselves. They've got to play everybody good in the Big 12. So the other teams that I've listed lower in the rankings, meaning TCU and Baylor in particular that we just uh, posted, well, they get to play Kansas and they don't have to play themselves. Kansas has to play the nine best teams in the Big 12. So that ups the ante for Kansas despite a deplorable, atrocious non-conference schedule. So Kansas, whether you get any better at football, you still need to schedule like a Power 5 program. So either you're going to start winning and gain some confidence and, and get to the fringe of bowl play. You did beat Texas last year, and you're going to start to schedule better. And no, Jayhawk fans, I have not looked ahead at Kansas' scheduling. Jayhawk fans, football fans, if you're out there. But uh, I, I'm just going by what I've seen over the last few years, which has been deplorable from Kansas. And I give them a bit of a slight because of the place that they stand in Power 5 football, which means the very bottom. All right, down the stretch, Kansas has to deal with this to conclude the season. So if there's any hope of postseason play for Kansas, that's going to equal 3-6 and six in the Big 12 and 3-0 and oh outside the Big 12. So they got to win all the non-conference games, having proven next to nothing. And then they got to squeeze out three wins against, I don't know, Iowa State and maybe Texas is uh, going to go down for a second straight year. You wouldn't think so. I don't know how they come up with three more wins. But out of the gate, they've got West Virginia, Texas Tech, and Iowa State. That's actually uh, easing into the Big 12 schedule. The stretch run is at TCU, Kansas State, Baylor, at Texas, Oklahoma, at Oklahoma State. That's why... This schedule is not lower in the rankings. Number 53 out of 68 teams. It belongs to the Jayhawks. Rock Chalk Jayhawk. Let's talk about it right here on Mark Rogers TV.